So let's have some fancy transition like when we switch between pages the page will go upside here and disappear something like this. Hi, welcome to eTech Viral. If you want to learn real app development and also want to grow your skills by building better, faster and scalable apps with clean architecture and also want to provide a good service in freelancing sites. So subscribe and hit the bell icon. In this video, we are going to learn different kinds of Flutter page view. A page view is a widget which generates scrollable pages on our screen. This can either be fixed list of pages or a builder which builds the repeating pages. This builder method is same as the grid view builder and the list view builder. We already have covered these topics in our previous videos. If you didn't watch them, go and take a look on them in order to grow your Flutter coding skills. Our today topics are simple page view, page view builder, some fancy transition between pages. So without wasting our precious times, let's get started. Like always, we have the simple application page view tutorial. This is nothing but a center widget having a widget of text page view tutorial. So let's remove the center widget from here and try to add page view widget. Page view. This accept the list of children and there will be some containers container its color will be colors red another container let's copy this first one and paste them down below three or four times and change them colors it will be green blue and indigo color press ctrl s and see the results you can see we can scroll between these pages and that's how we use the simple page view we have many properties in here like reverse, we can make it boolean, we can make it true. So press ctrl s and check. You can see now we are getting the indigo color first and the blue color the second and third the green color and in the last we are getting the red color. There is many properties in this page view but, but we will explore them one by one later in this video. And that's it for the page view. So now let's remove this page view, not the page view, but the children of it. And also remove this reverse property from here and the page view dot builder. It accept the item builder, context and index. This will return a simple container. Color will be colors red. But if we run this, this will give us all the red pages you can see we are not able to see if the pages are scrolling or not because there are infinite pages and all of the pages colors is red that's why we are not able to see the pages actually scrolling or not so let's fix it i want only 10 pages in place so for this purpose i will create a variable final number of pages this will be equal to list dot generate and 10 as this is an integer so let's convert it into string index and there's a property item count this will be number of pages dot length and here in the builder method take the first item so to take first item we will create another variable final first page item will be equal to number of pages index and that's it now in here we will check the condition if index mod 2 is equal equal to 0 so we will give it a color of indigo otherwise this will be colors dot green so what this mod 2 equal equal to 0 means it means if the index is even number so the page color will be indigo if it's an odd number so the its color will be green to check if the number is odd or even we will pass the child and the center child will be text page and first page item and that's it press ctrl s and see the results you can see we are on the page 8 you can see the number 8 is an even number so its color is indigo so if you move to this page page 7 it's not even number it's an odd number that's why its color is green now this condition is true and you can see the number of page that 7 it's coming from this first page item and we are displaying it here we have nine pages because it starts from zero. So like this, we also can work with the page view builder. So let's have some fancy transition. Like when we switch between pages, the page will go upside here and disappear something like this. 
So in this case, let's first convert the stateless widget into stateful widget. And here we will have two variables. The first one will be the page controller and the next will be the index of the current page. So let's create them. Page controller, private page controller will be equal to page controller. And the next variable will be final current page index will be equal to double value 0.0, .0. and after this there will be a method init method so the init state method is a method which will execute when our application runs in this init state method we will do something like the page controller dot add listener we will add a listener on our page controller and down here we will set the state to update our ui and here we will do the current page equal to page controller dot page which is double and that's why there is an error it's saying the current page index can't be used as a setter because it's a final try finding a different setter or making a current index non-final okay we will make it double so now there is error it's saying a value of double null can't be assigned to the variable of double so for this we will put a zerto operator here to fix this and that's it what we have done here we simply add a listener on this page view controller and and set the state to rebuild the ui and this current page index will be equal to the page current index like page is now on the page 2 so the current page index will be equal to this current page index so according to this we will transform our widgets in the builder method we will check the condition if the index is equal equal to the current page index dot floor what is this floor this floor means this floor returns the greatest integer no greater than this number this will return as gre greatest integer which will not be greater than this number and you can see more definition down there if this condition is true we will return the transform where the transform is required and this transform accept a matrix for matrix for dot identity dot rotate x we will rotate this in the x direction and this takes a double angle which will be current index minus index and there is an error what it is saying the expression has a type of words so its value can't be used so to fix this we will use the cascade operator here double dot for semicolon here and its child there will be this container copy this container and paste it here and let's give some styling to this uh, page style text style font size will be 20 font uh, font weight font weight will be bold that's great remove the semicolon from here and we will have we're gonna have another condition else if the index is equal equal to current page index dot floor plus one if this condition is true we will return the same values copy this and paste it down here and here in the else condition we will simply return this container and now remove this container from here with this done press ctrl s and see the results we are not getting any transition just because of uh, let me check yeah i got it we didn't pass the controller here page controller again press ctrl s and see the results now you can see the pages have beautiful transition and if we change this x direction to z and also this to z again press ctrl s now we are getting this transition that's beautiful and there is another one which is y again check them that's beautiful and there is some other properties of the page view like uh, if we false this page snipping so what will happens let's see we can scroll like this that's smooth scrolling we can scroll like this it will not stop after the first second page is reached so if we set it to true let's check what happens so like the previous we are not going to another page smoothly that's because we have now set the page snapping to true 
that was some fancy transition if you want uh, the tiktok view like we scroll vertically so you have to remove this condition also remove this and its scroll direction will be axis dot vertical press ctrl s and c we are on the page 2 page 3 page 4 page 5 like this you can make the tiktok page scroll view if you want the smooth scrolling so you again have to false this and after this you will get the smooth scrolling like facebook and also the tiktok and there is some other properties like uh, on page change its return type is function so let's check it also it will take a value which is of type integer we will print the value just for the checking purposes open the build and when we scroll between pages you can see it prints the number of the pages and there is another property which is physics bouncing scroll physics i love this physics when you go at the top you can see these are the bouncing scroll physics i think that's a lot for this video if this video helps you a little bit be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any future updates and videos like this goodbye and see you in the next video